Well, it's on the front page of newspapers across the country and the world. The former president, now a convicted felon. Today, Donald Trump is firing back, calling the trial unfair and the judge conflicted. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor covered the case from beginning to end. She has the latest. The former president spoke for more than 30 minutes. He is still under a limited gag order and is not supposed to talk about the jury or witnesses. He referred to witness Michael Cohen, though not by name. Now, I'm not allowed to use his name because of the gag order. But, you know, he's a sleazebag. He also spoke about defense witness Robert Costello. And the reason that Bob Costello acted a little bit upset, which I think he has a right to, was that every question he was being asked was being objected to. Trump did not take questions after. As he left, he did not answer when I asked. Are you worried about sentencing? Also present at this morning's news conference, defense attorney Todd Blanche. He did not join the former president at the podium, and he did not speak to cameras. He did speak to CNN last night. Understanding why a jury reaches a verdict is something that, that every single trial lawyer in the country would, would love to be able to, to answer honestly. A jury of Trump's peers deliberated for two days. He was found guilty on all 34 counts of falsifying business records related to a payment made to adult film star Stormy Daniels ahead of the 2016 election to keep her quiet about an alleged sexual encounter. Trump says he is appealing. Legal experts say Stormy Daniels' testimony that Trump's team called salacious may be one area the defense is looking at. The defense asked for a mistrial right after that testimony, and I think we can expect to see that again in an appellate brief. Trump maintains he did nothing wrong and denies an affair. In Midtown, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. The big question now, how Trump's conviction will impact the presidential election. President Biden made these comments earlier today. The American principle that no one is above the law was reaffirmed. Donald Trump was given every opportunity to defend himself, CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer joins us now. Marsha, Trump thinks he did great during the press conference today. How do political experts, his allies, other Republicans think that he did? Well, his allies think he did well, but I think a lot of pundits think that he missed an opportunity to try to mobilize people, voters across the country. They also thought that he spent too much time talking about the case and not about what he would do for the country. And interestingly enough, they also think that it gives him, gives President President Biden um, an interest, an opportunity to make some hay in the battleground states that are going to decide the election. But I think that's really interesting is that minutes before um, I came on the air, the team issued a press release where they said, we're now going to mobilize what they called Trump Force 47, and right. they're going to have a grassroots operation to try to have people in the battleground states uh, come and work for him. So we're going to wait and see what happens. But right now, Miss Opportunity had a big spotlight, national attention, focused on him and he was talking about the case and how he didn't deserve to be convicted and they think that it should have been an opportunity to move the case forward. Well and as you know even better than I do those battleground polls are so tight right now if it did lose him that opportunity that could be really devastating. I mean it could if it, if it just mobilizes two percent yeah it could help President Biden. Thank you Marsha. We brought you that verdict yesterday as breaking news at the top of the 6 p.m. newscast. We had live team coverage from the courthouse to Times Square. You can find our complete coverage every step of the way streaming at CBSNewYork.com.